what Kenzie City are. You know, Kansas City, like Ferguson, you've been under occupation too. It's hard to believe that in a city of a half a million, close to a half a million people, that Kansas City has been under economic occupation. The residents of Kansas City. But you have. Your city sold the trust to public lands. This is my understanding. It's really a complicated matter. Your city, a long time ago, sold the trust to public lands to a financial institutions. And these financial institutions They haven't really done any job in terms of upkeeping the public lands. So now the citizens of Kansas City want to buy public land, but they're not allowed to do so because the city can't sell it to them because it's under private ownership. This is something that really is going to have to be get a thorough review. Because what is cost in Kansas City is blight, poverty, and you know the natural next step of that is going to be crime. If people don't have the resources, If people don't have the resources to feed themselves, they're going to resort to burglary to feed themselves and their family. It's just that simple. Now, Kansas City, they know you struggle. And what they'll do is they'll send racist police, officers who really hate people of color, into your community. And they'll let these officers pray on the residents of the community. In Kansas City, you've seen it firsthand, up close and personal. There was a recent story in the news about a police chief in Kansas City who had been a chief for decades in that city. And basically, he had been stalking and harassing black women in Kansas City. Everyone in KC PD knew about this officer. Everyone. It's alleged that this chief of police raped a black woman in his squad car while another officer was in the car. Now after decades and decades and decades of abusing black women, The son of a bitch was recently held accountable. Happy to hear that news, but the residents of Kansas City have had to put up with him for, I think they say 30 years. They had to put up with his conduct for 30 years. Now let me ask you another question, Kansas City. What type of police officers do you think he had underneath him that were working for him, that were loyal to him? You know, I saw security footage of a grocery store, a little grocery corner store, and there was an African-American man who would come into the store shoplifting, stealing some food, and about 
30 KCPD officers started beating this man with a baton till he fell to the ground. And then about 40 of them piled on him like it was a scrimmage, like a rugby match. There's 40 police bodies on top of one person. And they murdered that man in the grocery store for stealing some little Debbie Twinkies, Hostess Twinkies. I think he went in there and stole some Twinkies and potato chips. This is KCPD. This is one of the most racist police departments in the entire nation. I want you to understand, KCPD has been under consent decree longer than I think any other police department in our nation. The whole department is rotten to the core. I can say that. You know, sometimes you have departments where some people are rotten, the majority. No, the entire KCPD department needs to be abolished completely. And if you want to have a police department in KCPD, you're going to have to hire people who really have not had any, any contact with the people who currently work at KCPD. That entire department is rotten to the core. I mean really rotten. If anybody from KCPD watches this, you're rotten. I'm not going to mince words. I'm not going to change up what I'm saying. It's a fact. Historical, present day fact. You are dirty fucking cops. And you all need to be in prison. There is so much dirt that has happened that KCPD is sweeping under the rug currently that it would take a team of forensic investigators to come into that department and look over all the shit they continue to do in Kansas City. If there was ever one department that I would say strongly needs to be abolished, it would be KCPD. You let a chief harass black women for 30 years, rape black women for 30 years in that community, and you did nothing. Everyone in KCPD knew about that chief. Don't fuck with me. Because they'll try to say what I'm saying is extreme. What I'm saying is detrimental. What I'm saying is harmful. No. Your conduct as sworn officers to protect the residents of your community, that is what's disgusting, disgraceful, and harmful. Not my commentary about it. I want to make that clear. They don't think I know about Kansas City, the police department. Oh, I know. I know. There's a lot of things I cannot say. But that doesn't mean that I don't know. Kansas City is election time. You know, you've been under Republican conservative occupation for so long now in Kansas City. You're just like, I'm done. Nothing's going to change. We fought the good fight. Well, Kansas City, I'm here to tell you something. We can chip away and make a big dent and what's happening if you elect Trudy Bush Valentine. Now I know you're saying she's going to be a senator on the federal level. These things are happening on the state level. But you have to understand nothing is going to change on the state level as long as the federal government is not involved in investigating. And let me tell you something. 
The election of Trudy Bush Valentine will send a huge message to the Republican Party in Missouri that things are about to change, that the good old boys network is over with. If you really want to send a message, Kansas City, come out in record numbers and vote for Trudy Bush Valentine in November. That's going to really send a message that the gig is up and that bad actors, whether they be in KCPD, whether they be in state government, whether they be your governor, your state house, your state city, wherever they are, their time is short. They're not going to be able to get away with the same things they've been doing. Trudy Bush Valentine is a nurse. Do you know we've never elected a nurse to the United States Senate in all of our history? All the wonderful things nurses do. When we get sick, they take care of us, don't they? Kansas City, you're sick. You have a sickness. Let a nurse take care of you. Heal you. Get you back to, well, feeling better. You gotta vote for Judy Bush Valentine, Kansas City. You gotta vote. You gotta show up. You gotta send a message that you're not gonna tolerate what you've been tolerating. It's abhorrent the treatment that the residents of Kansas City receive by their supposed government. Because they're not governing for you, Kansas City. That police department is not working in the best interest of Kansas City residents. It's simply not. When you pulverize and beat a man, 60 of your officers, 40, 60 of your officers beat a man in a convenience store for stealing potato chips. You know your city is not working for you. You want to talk about terrorism. I'm going to say it. The Kansas City Metropolitan Police Department is a terroristic organization. You have been terrorizing the citizens of Kansas City. We have to call this out. Kansas City residents have been saying this forever. They've been saying this police department is dirty as fuck. Then people started coming in and looking at it. And they went, whoa. They're like, the residents are not lying. This department is dirty as fuck. You got Nazis working for the Kansas City Police Department right now. We know who you are. I'm not going to mention your name. But we know who you are. We have the names. We have the list. And if necessary, we're going to start leaking shit. If necessary. We want to take care of this the political way. Because there's a bunch of ways you can take care of this. But if you don't think I know who you are, the Nazis on that force right now, at KCPD, we got your names. We know you. I want you to understand that I know who you are. And we're not going to mess around anymore. We're doing things differently now. Because some people don't understand that there's a new way of doing things. They think that they're going to get away with doing the same old, same old. But that's done away with. Kansas City, help yourself out. Give yourself a huge helping hand. Elect Trudy Bush Valentine. 
You know, you've got some competitive congressional races. Take a look at some of the people who are running for Congress. Vote for people who are going to actually do the job of representing you. Not hold a position and ignore your concerns. Disregard your concerns. Neglect your community. Don't vote for those type of people. Vote for real representatives. Right now, you don't have real representatives. You know, conservatives like Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro, do you know who these people are? I do. Conservative activists like Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens love to talk about how Black Lives Matter hasn't done anything for the black community. As though anyone asks Black Lives Matter to do anything for the black community. The people who are charged with doing something for the community, you know, like Kansas City Police Department, they terrorize the community. So they don't hold the people and the organizations and institutions who are charged to do something for the community accountable. They go and run off and find a nonprofit, LLC, and say, look, they have Black Lives Matter in their title and they don't do anything. So you're supposed to forget about your local police department terrorizing you. You're supposed to forget about financial institutions not wanting to sell you public land. You're supposed to forget about who it is really that's supposed to represent your community and place all your blame on an LLC organization. This is what conservatives want you to do. They want to hoodwink you, bamboozle you. Now, I happen to know that in East St. Louis, you had the African Socialist Party who built a whole basketball court for that community. East St. Louis has been neglected for decades in Missouri by Republican governors, the Republican State Senate, Republican State House, the Republican Congressional Delegation. It's been neglected East St. Louis. It looked like a bomb went through East St. Louis. And it wasn't until the African Socialist Party, I want to make this clear, it wasn't until the African Socialist Party went into East St. Louis, constructed a huge garden, planted trees, build a basketball court for the residents of that community. The East St. Louis started looking like a community. So don't say that socialists aren't doing anything for the community. Because they're the only people that have, have done something for East St. Louis. Name me any conservative organization that went into East St. Louis and helped out the community of residents like the African Socialist Political Party did. Name me one, give me one. Did Candace Owens organization, Blexit, go into East St. Louis and help out the residents? Did they come and provide money for a basketball court like the African Socialist Party did in East St. Louis? See, people don't think that I know what's happening. They don't think that I have the receipts. Oh, I've seen the receipts. I know what's been happening. That's why you better not fuck with this. East St. Louis was a wasteland until the African Socialist Political Party went in there and really started helping out the residents in the community. That is a fact. And then the state came up with all of these trumped up charges. They might have gotten the money from Russia, they said. Hogwash. They 
There were no Russians that gave the African Socialist Party money to build a basketball court in East St. Louis. That money was raised by people who were sick of the condition that the state government, that the Republican government had left residents in their own state under. It didn't come from any fucking Russians. This is the lie they want to tell whenever socialists do something good for the community. They start talking about Russians and Chinese giving you money. Bullshit. This is to obfuscate American governments from having a responsibility to do something for all their citizens. They know good and well the African Socialist Political Party didn't get any money from Russia to build that basketball court. That is bullshit. And they knew it. We went to Kansas City. Come out and vote. Come out and vote and write your numbers. We know you're fed up and you're sick of it. The biggest way to show them that you're fed up and you're sick of it is to vote. You can protest. You can break out windows. You can do all of that shit and nobody's going to care. They are going to start caring when some of these racist scumbags lose their jobs. When some of these racist scumbags have to leave office, that's when people are going to start to take notice. So make that happen, Kansas City. Vote to elect Trudy Bush Valentine. That's a huge step in the right direction. You know what Trudy Bush Valentine is going to do when she becomes a senator? She's going to say, we need to do something about St. Louis. We need to do something about Kansas City. We need to do something about Ferguson. Because something needs to be done. It really does. The neglect, the not providing any resources, the economic disparities, that has to stop. And you have to elect someone who's willing to stop it. The Republican Party has shown you that they have no interest in stopping it. In fact, the Republican Party wants to continue full speed ahead. Do you know Mark McCloskey ran for Senate as a Republican this year? The dude that came out of his home with his wife brandishing weapons wanted to be your United States Senator? This is what the Republican Party is offering us. You know, they used to say it was dog whistles. It's not a dog whistle. It's a howl at this point. They're howling their racism at this point. And we have to fight back Kansas City. We have to send people who are going to fight on our behalf. Because that's what we're in. We're in a battle. We're in a real battle, Kansas City. And we need Kansas City, Kansas Cityans to join us. You have a, nearly a half a million people in Kansas City. We need 300,000, 320,000 votes out of Kansas City. If you turn up and turn out, they're going to get really scared in Kansas City. They're going to get really scared in St. Louis. They're going to get really scared in Ferguson. They're going to get really scared in that governor's mansion. 
that folks are turning out and voting in record numbers. Take care of business, Kansas City. Vote. You want to send a message to racists in the local police department? Vote for Trudy Bush Valentine. You want to send a message to racist Republicans in the state house and state senate who are trying to take away your rights? Vote Trudy Bush Valentine. If I lived in Missouri, I'd be knocking on doors every day, texting all my friends. I'd be telling them this is a consequential election that we have to elect Trudy Bush Valentine to get him out from under this occupation, this conservative nightmare. They can went all around the country saying that they can solve the problem of crime and violence. Missouri is the most violent state in the nation. You have a Republican governor, a Republican state house, a Republican state senate, and two Republican senators. And the entire congressional delegation is mostly Republican. So how the fuck are the Republican Party going to solve crime and violence when they can't even do it in Missouri? Their policies are a complete and utter failure. And they don't want to admit it. So they want to pass it off on the rest of us. Well, we don't want their shit. We don't want a racist, misogynistic police department like KCPD. We don't want private financial institutions owning our land so the residents can't buy public land like is the case in case Kansas City. We don't want governors who tie up their mistresses in the basement and torture them like Eric Greitens did when he was governor. We don't want that bullshit. We don't want it. And you don't want it anymore either. So send them a message that you're tired and you're fed up and you're not going to take it anymore. Come out and vote, Kansas City. Get your friends. Register if you're not registered. Check your voter registration. This is another thing. I really want to stress this. Check and make sure you're registered. All across the South, people are going on their voter registration site, Secretary of State website, and they're checking. And they're saying, wait a minute, I'm not registered. I voted in every election. And then they call up the Secretary of State's office in Georgia and they're like, I was checking my registration and I saw that I'm not registered. Why is this the case? And they're like, sorry ma'am, we just were just doing a cleaning of the rolls. We accidentally took your name off the rolls. Would you like to re-register now? Yes, I would. Check your registration, Kansas City. They're going to do everything they can to disenfranchise mostly black voters, mostly Latino voters, mostly college voters, mostly first-time voters, mostly women voters. You know why they want to disenfranchise those groups, Kansas City? Because they know they're not going to vote for them. They're not going to vote to maintain white supremacy. So make sure you check your voter registration. And the first day of early voting in Missouri, get out there and vote. Record turnout. Send a strong message that you're sick of this. Take care of business, Kansas City. Take care of business.